Phil Mackey here, 1500ESPN.com at Target Field after a 5-2 Twins loss to the Detroit Tigers. They lose three out of four to Detroit, fall seven games back in the American League Central. Kind of a tough way to end the uh, the 12 game homestand, a six and six homestand. So it ends poorly, I guess. If you want to put an optimistic spin on it, we talked about that stretch of 30 home games in 40 games about a month and a half ago. Well, they just finished that stretch, and they went 20 and 10 in those home games. But uh, the Twins miss a real golden opportunity here in this homestand to pick up ground on the Indians and on the Tigers. They split the series two and two with Cleveland, and then uh, Francisco Liriano comes up with a clunker at the worst possible time today. It was his shortest start of the season, two and a third. He walked four, gave up six hits. Uh, couldn't locate his fastball, and we're back to the point now where Liriano is really giving you a clunker every other time he goes out. He'll give you seven strong, and then he'll give you a clunker. And, um, and as, as a guy who emerged as the Twins' best pitcher by far last season, he needs to get back to that top-of-the-rotation type consistency that he gave you for about a three- or four-month stretch in 2010. And the, the Twins are frustrated. you got uh, manager Ron Gardenhire having to speak up and, and talk to reporters in place of Liriano. Same with Maurer because Liriano left the ballpark without speaking to reporters and uh, just hasn't really shown the ability to fix his own problems on the mound without a mound visit by Rick Anderson or Joe Maurer. You know, you, you, at this stage in his career, you'd like to see him be able to self-diagnose when he's having problems. He's 27, 28 years old. He needs to start figuring out... Um, you know, if, if I'm going to be a top of the rotation type guy, how do I put myself back in check? It's only the second inning. You know, let's throw some strikes. Let's locate the fastball. Let's find the mechanics. You're not a rookie anymore, and it's time to step up, and that's what the Twins are waiting to see from Francisco Liriano. Uh, the start of a long road trip here. It starts in Texas, four games against one of the hottest teams in baseball, one of the best teams in the American League. And the trade deadline's coming up here in a week. So the Twins, if they fall too far back, they're going to have to make a big decision on guys like Michael Kadire, uh, even maybe guys like Carl Pavano, Jason Kubel, who just came off the disabled list. If you're sitting eight or nine games back in the middle of this road trip when the trade deadline hits, I don't see with two months left in the season how you can go out and call yourselves a buyer at this deadline. So these next four games against Texas are going to be absolutely huge in terms of whether the Twins are buyers or sellers. We know for a fact that they're after relief help right now. They're looking for bullpen help, not closer or eighth inning help necessarily. They're looking to bolster the middle of that uh, of that bullpen because Perkins and Nathan are seemingly fine right now. The Twins are optimistic that Matt Capps can come back and be viable in the 7th or 8th innings. They're looking to replace the Phil Dumatrates, the Alex Burnett's, those middle 6th, 5th, 6th, and 7th inning guys and find some more consistency there. So, um, again, this road trip is absolutely going to be critical to uh, whether they're buyers or sellers and whether they can hang around and, and make those games against Detroit and Cleveland relevant on the next homestand, or uh, on, the, on the next road trip, I should say, um, after they come back home. As far as uh, the health situation right now, Denard Spann still hasn't played nine innings in a AAA game. He's only playing seven innings, so he has to string together some nine-inning games before the Twins feel comfortable activating him. But when they do, we've been reassured that Ben Revere will not be the guy who goes down for Denard Spann. So expect an outfield logjam for sure. Jason Repko might be the guy who gets sent back. He has a AAA option left. But then you're going to be a spot in a spot where you have Jason Kubel, Denard Spann, Delman Young, um, Ben Revere, Michael Kadire. First base, at least until Justin Morna comes back, can be kind of a rotating spot for Maurer. Trevor Plouffe is going to mix in a little bit, Michael Kadire. But you're going to have a decision to make if you're on Gardenhire. Which outfielders do you play and where do you play them? And right now it sounds like Spann's going to come back, maybe we'll say in a week, and take over that center field spot again. But um, it'll be interesting to see how things shuffle out in the outfield. So keep an eye on 1500ESPN.com. A super busy week ahead in the Twins world and uh, we'll see if they can if they can keep moving up toward the top of the AL Central. We'll, we'll see if they turn into sellers here. It's all going to happen maybe in the next five or six days. Phil Mackey here from Target Field. We'll catch you next time.